Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Talk Books. Today I am doing a review on Our Demon's Best Friend by Diana T. Scott. This is another book that we're doing for vlog tours. It's actually the last book that we are doing for 2016, and it's been an amazing year for indie authors and just some really, really great books. It's been a lot of fun to organize these tours and just be a part of this. And I can't wait for next year and what new books we get to review and enjoy and just gush about. And speaking of gushing, I have so much to gush about over this book. So this book follows a girl named Ava and sadly her twin sister has passed away when she was only 14 and ever since then she's kind of locked her grief and pain inside of her. And then you have the male lead named Sebastian. He has been dealing with his own demons from his past and that has led for his medical residency to be postponed. And when he first meets Ava, he doesn't know how to fully open up to her and how to be himself. He's scared to let anyone inside, but he truly hopes that they could fight their demons together. I absolutely adored and loved everything in this book. As soon as you start this book, the prologue just hits you in the face. Like you want to know everything about Ava and Sebastian and their relationship and the things that they've been through. Like the author just wants you to stick around and just know what happens because prologues are important and they're very eye-catching and this was definitely one that got your attention and wanted you to just be like what the hell happened between them what's going on i just loved every part of this story and the development between the two characters in the beginning you really get to see ava's personality and i loved her to death you know not a spoiler but in the beginning she was under anesthesia how she acted was hilarious i could just tell from the beginning that i was really going to like her she is a character that has dealt with a lot you know with her sister's passing but never once did she ever use her sister's death as an excuse for anything. I understand her grief and how she handled things and she was very human-like, which I loved. And I really felt for her throughout this book. There were a few parts in particular where I just, I felt like I was there. Every time her heart was beating out of her chest, like I felt it. The author is very descriptive in the best way possible. I definitely felt all the emotions between the characters and just the things that they were going through on their own and just certain situations that happened in this book. It just like, there were parts where I was just like, <gasps> I don't know, I just, I just really felt it in this book. So yeah, Ava is such an amazing character. I loved her so much. Her personality really shined through and she never annoyed me one bit. She was so like mature. Sometimes I find that authors write a character that is her age, which is 26, but they still sound like they're 18, but she was not like that one bit and I love that. And then you have Sebastian who is just like my perfect like man. How funny. We're both rocking the bun. Uh, I love a man bun. I love a man bun with a beard. So he was just everything. Descriptive wise, ooh, loved him. He was such a charming character in his own way. Cause he fully could not be himself around her, especially in the beginning. But I saw through him and I saw what an incredible man that he was. And I like that the author did not make him into like a jerk. You know how you have a male character who's very quiet and to himself, but they come off as assholes? He never did. Every time he saw her, he never mistreated her or was rude to her. And I just love that about him because it really showed what kind of person he really was despite the tragedies in his life. Them together, perfection. It was not insta-love, thank the heavens. You know when you read a dystopian book and it's like world building? This is relationship building. Pure relationship, pure friendship pure love like the love in this book was so genuine and so vulnerable there were moments in this book that were just so tender and loving and it just it made your heart skip a beat because you just you just felt their emotion for each other sometimes it's hard for me to really feel that and i did so refreshing to feel that so this book could have definitely took different turns like they could have made it way more dramatic and just over the top than it needed to be. I'm glad that she did not take that route and she 
simplified the, this book. Sometimes less is more and sometimes the simple things are the best and that's what I got out of this book is that it was just so simply done and just refreshing. I could also see different opinions on this book and the fact that it is more on the simple side. There's no, oh my god, like not every chapter has an oh my god moment and that's okay. Sometimes you don't need that every time. So if you're looking for, for that, it's not here. But I know people will definitely enjoy the, this book and definitely enjoy the chemistry between the characters and just how genuine it was. And that's what I just absolutely loved about this book. Just how genuine it truly was. That is very important to me in a book like this in this genre. Everything in this book I loved and I read this in a day. It was a really quick and easy read for me. Also there are did different aspects of like medical stuff in this book which I like because I love anything like ER. So it was exciting for me and music also plays a certain role in this book which I of course love as well. I love that music plays a role in their relationship. It was such a nice sweet touch to add to their relationship. But overall I have nothing bad to say about this book. I'm giving it a solid five stars because it deserves it in my eyes because it's really hard at least to feel emotions in a romance and to really fully understand characters and their relationship development. She hit it spot on for me. If you love romance and contemporary or starting to get into this genre, especially like new adult, it wasn't really new adult, new adult, but it had a little taste of it. I will definitely recommend this book to read. Okay, so that was my review on Our Demon's Best Friend by Diana T. Scott. I do hope you guys pick up this book and let me know all your thoughts. And as always, I will leave any author links and other booktubers that are part of this tour down below. So make sure you go and check it out. So yeah, I will talk to you in my next video.